Stacy, and we're here from Six Flags Academic Adventures team, and welcome to the Bone, Bone Zone. Zone. Last week we introduced you to Harley, who helped us explain some bird characteristics. And this week we're going to explore why some birds run and others soar. Now you might be surprised to find that flying is not a characteristic of a bird. In fact, we have several species right here on our safari that aren't capable of flight. That's right, Jackie. African ostriches, South American rheas, and Australian emus are all in the rat type family. These birds have multiple adaptations that make them better suited for land than air. Solid bones, dense feathers, and lack of a breastbone called a keel help to keep these animals grounded. Emus are the second largest bird in the world and the only birds with a calf muscle. Their larger relative, the ostrich, stands six feet tall and can weigh over 300 pounds. These animals were built to run, topping speeds of over 45 miles an hour. Although they don't use their wings for flight, they can use them as parachutes for slowing down and steering, or to attract a mate. Now, we talked about why some birds can't fly, but let's talk about why some can. Hey Stacy, do you have any birds in the wild walkway that can fly? I sure do, Jackie. Everyone, meet Diamond. Diamond here is a cockatoo, a Moluccan cockatoo to be exact. Now, flighted birds like Diamond have hollow bones to keep them light. They also have a keel or a breastbone to help anchor their flight muscles. And of course, they have flight feathers to help them fly. Many people are surprised to hear that birds aren't capable of flight when they're born, but they have to learn how to fly. Now you guys can see how affectionate Diamond is being with me right now. And that's one of the reasons why people think that parrots make good pets. However, they are beautiful and intelligent. They could have you going in circles. Now that beak of theirs is extremely strong and it can easily break a broomstick in half. Their vocalizations are so loud, some as loud as a jet engine. And also, they can live about 60 to 80 years on average. Now, although Diamond is being extremely affectionate with me, these guys can get aggressive when their mate or owner changes. Now, parrots like Diamond are unfortunately close to extinction due to things like deforestation and the pet trade. Now we wanna make sure you do your research before getting any pet at home. You would be crazy not to do so. Fortunately, there are some things you can do to help, like practicing the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. It's so easy, even Diamond can do it. We hope you learned a little bit about what makes birds great. Until next time, make it a wild day.